Hey everybody, Dennis here from Respiratory Sensei. I'm on a plane right now getting ready to go from New York City or New Jersey where I taught at Union County College and I'm going to Los Angeles to teach at a Santa Monica College there. So excited to do that. Hey listen, I've been getting a lot of requests to know more about the adult critical care examination. So just want to give you a little bit on that. I definitely have another video on that to just tell you what the difference is, but I've been thinking today, and what I want you to know is if you're already a respiratory therapist and you ask the question, what does it take to become a adult critical care therapist? The answer to that is you only need to know about 20% more. So there's some diseases, some medications, it's not that difficult. Now, if you're using Lindsay Jones, the whole book covers everything, so if you haven't studied for the CRT or the RT exam in a long while, it's okay. But definitely, if you uh, already or have recently taken that exam, all you need is one year of experience. And this is interesting. The NBRC doesn't ask you to document the year of ICU experience, so as soon as you have your license, a year later, if you've worked in the ICU just a little bit, then you're probably eligible to take that exam. So um, all you really have to have to do is to have your medical director sign that off. So check it out and watch for more videos that I'll be releasing soon.